All right, today we're gonna to test out the Perfect Draft barbecue blower. Uh, you saw yesterday that I put on the attachment here. You can see inside. Uh, that's where the blower is gonna attach. I'll show that here in a second. And uh, we have a nice stack of wood and we got a nice fire going here. Uh, we're gonna to start to damper this down and hook up the blower, set a temperature to 250 degrees. Uh, which it's getting there right now all of it by itself uh, getting that first draft going and we'll see how the perfect draft barbecue blower works so let's go ahead and take it and uh, stick it on here and you'll hear it latch so now we're solid and ready to go uh, the power is now on and we'll switch to automatic control and we'll set our temperature to 250 degrees, which is gonna be about right there. Give me a close up. And uh, we'll be all set. So we'll damper it up and see how it gets the temperature and stays there over the course of the, of the uh, cook. We're gonna be doing ribs today, so why not? All right, so we, we are about an hour in. Uh, let me pull out so you can see the draft is continuing to spin the perfect draft you can see there is quite a bit of smoke coming out but it's not a smoldering fire i've never been a huge fan of seeing visible smoke like this but it's a positive draft smoke and i've talked to the manufacturer about it and he says that it is commonplace because you're continuing to put air over the fire that this happens uh, I had it set for 250 and we're kind of floating around 275, 265 I guess, uh, or yeah, 275 looks about right. Um, on the controller here I have it set at about a little less than 250. So I think uh, there might be a couple things here. I've uh, adjusted the vent damper down to maybe 45% open, which they do suggest in the manual in order to prevent a super draft, I guess. And uh, that also, I believe, contributes to some of that smoke that you're seeing. Uh, but you see it coming out of the cooker as well. So I'd say, you know, within a 10 degree swing, which, you know, for me personally, if especially using a stick burner like this, I'll run 50 degree temp swings all cook long. Uh, up and down depending on how much wood you're putting in the fire and when you're putting it in the fire this that and the other thing so uh, having it within 10 degrees of where it is uh, for the last hour been running it for about an hour uh, is pretty cool so uh, we'll continue to cook on this uh, for hours and hours on end today or at least have fire in it and uh, we'll see how it goes for the duration of the day Okay, so we are roughly three hours or so into the cook with the Perfect Draft barbecue blower. This is the item we're reviewing today. And uh, we've tried to dial in a 250 degree temperature. It was around 275, you know, an hour and a half ago. We're creeping closer, so here's what I've done. Um, I, I didn't personally like the fact that there was so much smoke coming out of the stack because I had the damper uh, turn 45 degrees so I've opened up the damper all the way uh, which as you can see has allowed for more of that desired sweet blue smoke the temperature is holding steady but I went over to the controller here and dialed it uh, originally we had it at 250 which would be up about a, a crank and a half and I have it actually just below 200 degrees uh, that the thermometer is reading on the inside for drafting purposes. Let's go ahead and take a look into the firebox here. And we have uh, that one log burning. Now, let me close that up and we can take a quick look inside. Remember, Meathead has busted the if you're not, if you're looking, you're not cooking myth. Uh, I do have a rack of ribs. So here's the temperature probe just kind of hanging there. Those are ribs, those look good. Um, so I tried to get it kind of close to great temperature 
and uh, cooking grade temperature, not the upper level, because that's always going to be hotter. And I'd say by and large, it's you know working uh, as advertised. Right now, you can see we have a good uh, temperature around uh, that 250 mark. And again, I made that adjustment on the temperature controller here at 250. Quick point of note here as I uh, back up and just start talking randomly. There has been an incredible increase in fuel efficiency than I would normally get with this cooker. Usually I'm feeding, you know, a stick that's on top of that firebox you know, every 45 minutes to an hour, uh, I would, or two. So I would say in three hours of a cook, aside from getting the kindling and stuff going, which is an additional waste of, or use of wood, I've used maybe three pieces of wood so far. So as far as efficiency is concerned, and this is what the Perfect Draft, uh, draft does promote on its website as well, uh, beside from temperature control, is the amount of wood you won't be using because you are getting uh, much more of an efficient burn having this draft system blow into the firebox. So I have to say at this point, that is absolutely the case. Uh, that is really making me very excited. And there is another version. This is the very first version of the Perfect Draft that I got. There's a newer version that is out there currently um, that I'm not testing. But if this one works, then all the bugs have been worked out of the newer version. So I'm pretty excited about that. So uh, right now, three hours in or so, obviously the ribs look good. But more importantly, the unit is performing as advertised. And uh, we'll take a look here again in another couple hours. All right, welcome back. We are now five and a half hours in. We started around noon, it's 5.30. Um, I have uh, cranked up the temperature um, on the Pro Draft, which is attached here. I don't know if I showed it the last time, but there is this nice little adapter um, right here. You have to drill in. I have some pictures of that. Um, I believe I used a 5 16 drill bit in order to secure it in place, but uh, it's running very well. Right now I have wood on top of the firebox uh, for seasoning, but um, opening up the flue all the way, but then adjusting down the temperature uh, from target has really found a sweet spot, I think. And it's been cranking right along and continues to be very impressive as far as efficiency is concerned. So uh, I'm very happy with how this has been performing. Um, I just threw a couple chicken breasts on uh, just for fun to cook and uh, we'll see how it goes but i plan on you know running this for at least three four more hours and uh, hope that the efficiency and the target temps continue to to hold true here so uh, very impressed right now with the perfect draft all right guys this is the last report it is just past seven o'clock so we're uh, well into seven hours here uh, i've uh, readjusted back to 250 degrees and as you can tell we're uh, almost at target temperature. Uh, I'm more than happy with that. And I have continued to been impressed with, or I continue to be impressed with the fuel efficiency. Um, I think I've used a total of six logs, um, easily half of what I would normally. And it is consuming a substantially larger portion of the wood because there's kind of that constant air pushing into the firebox so uh, the coal bed is uh, continuing to burn down and eventually burn away because it is having that air to help it through there usually you get some bigger pieces in the chunk once you're kind of done in the firebox so very happy with that and uh, very impressed with this unit as i said there is a newer version available um, it won't look exactly like this one will but operation is the same, plus they have that new adapter here, uh, which for my Lang is perfect. There's a little bit of a gap here, but I did talk to the owner and he said that little bit of a gap is uh, no issue. So some of you might not have that little pinwheel handle in order to uh, do the dampers and it'll flush up a little bit better there. But again, uh, very impressed and uh, I'll give a rating in the written review as well.